Hey guys, welcome back to Easel Does It Studio. Today, we're gonna do something a little different. We are gonna try and make a mold of this turtle and our little antlers. So, I've got these. Um, they came with one of my mold making kits. Um, I think one came with Let's Resin and then one came with um, a different brand. I don't know. They might both be um, Let's Resin brand. So I've got two different silicones. I have got the Let's Resin silicone rubber. The hardness is 0A. This is a very soft, um, pliable silicone. So I'm going to do the turtle in this because I don't think I have enough. Because this is what I had used when I tried to make that big dragon way back a couple bunch of videos back. That was a disaster. Um, and I used like, I don't know, four or six of these to make that thing. So I know, I think I've got enough to make my turtle. And if I don't have enough to do my antlers, then I also have the silicone rubber in 10A, which is a little bit firmer, but still soft. So then if we don't have enough of the other one, we'll use this one. So I got them both out. I, oh, of course, I did not grab some cups, of course. Hang on one second, guys. <laughs> All right, got my cups. I'm gonna have to order some more. This is my last, my last pack of cups. All right. So I believe this is by weight. Yeah, one to one ratio by weight. So before we start mixing, now that I've got my cups, we've got to get our pieces so that they're secured onto this. I just use packing tape. And it wouldn't stick on me. Uh-oh, it's getting low. I'm gonna have to get a new one out. So I do it sticky side up and then you want to stick this down. So make sure your tape is big enough that it goes all the way around and really, really get that so it's stuck on there. And then you can... Just in case it leaks, you can just kind of tack the, the tape to the, the plastic. So now we have a nice flat base. So we're going to put our turtle in. Let me grab a paper towel and some alcohol. And we are going to make sure that we wipe this so we have no fingerprints on here. And you want to make sure that there is space all the way around your, your piece. And we're just going to push him down. Just like that. So now, see how he has there's space all the way around, and then we just have to go, you know, above his shell. So this one is all made to cast. So, all 
All right. And we are going to stick our little square on here. And let me wipe my little antlers. And it's trying to get them in there so that there is space around like both of them. <clears throat> so I haven't pushed that one down yet because I want to make sure I can get this one in here with room around it. Yeah, okay. So now we're gonna push these down. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna get that down. And I'm gonna pull this tape up. Now I am no expert at making molds. I'm, I am still, still in the learning stage. You know, of course I tried to do a few big projects like an idiot instead of sticking with the small ones until I master the small one, but no. God forbid, that would be something I would do, no. Okay, so I want, I want to put something down. What do I have that's flat and firm? <laughs> that's the problem. Um, oh, I know. All right. <coughs> I have my a glass cutting board. That way I can move this off of here and if the silicone does leak out it'll leak out on this so all right let me get this out of my way and move that back and we're gonna grab the scale and we'll do a stick all right Okay, so let's turn on our unit here and hmm. <coughs> all right, so we're gonna pour part A. I don't know, I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe three ounces for this, but I'm not sure. All right, so we're gonna do, we'll do three ounces in C. All right, so I'm gonna watch it on here to one and a half, just, and then I'll get what the number is. All right, so that is 1.69. And So by weight and by volume comes out to the same in these cups because I literally have three ounces. So yeah. All right. And then we're going to stir this up. So we could color this, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to mix this up, scraping your sides, just like you do your resin. I don't run this through the debubbler. I haven't had a problem 
with bubbles as far as the ones I've made. Now that I say that, you watch today, I will... Oh, crap. This is the one I wanted to do the turtle in. Oh, well, we're going to pour the turtle first because this is the softer, the softer one. Should still be, I think, about the same. If not, I'll just mix up a little bit more. So I'm molding this one so it, where it still has the shine on it. I know it, this color doesn't really show the sparkle, but that way there we will have a spare one if that one starts getting dull. And this takes, God, I can't even remember. I think it's like six out, five or six hours to set up. It also depends on how warm your room is. All right. So, let's see. Yeah, that might be enough. Okay. Are we ready? <clears throat> so, and I guess they say it's best to pour like in one spot when you're doing these. I might have enough to do both. All right, so that one is nice and covered because this one doesn't have to be as deep. So let's just see. just pour a little bit more in there. I just want to make sure that it's coated over the top. And so you can already see the bubbles popping. I might as well just finish pouring this in here and we had enough. Cool. So this way, the antler mold, I will be able to do two at a time. And the mold is going to be bigger, so I'm going to have less chance of losing it. <laughs> because we already know I've lost one, almost two. Yeah. So, I am going to just take my long neck lighter and we're going to pop some of these top bubbles. And there we go. And that's pretty much it. Now we wait until these cure up and I can, you know, see all the little bubbles popping. This stuff does degas really, really good. Um, I haven't had a problem with, you know, any of my other ones. I've made the silicone plugs and um, yeah, I haven't had a problem. So I will just, you know, kind of keep popping any that come to the surface if I see any. So now we wait. So I'll keep an eye on it for a little bit. If there's any, you know, big bubbles and they don't pop, I will um, 
just pop them with my long neck glider and I will be back and we're going to demold these. It says to wait 24 hours before you pour in them. So we can't pour them today, but I will probably pour them on my next video. So it'll be a kind of a two in one video. So yeah. That is it. That's how easy it is. As long as you've got like nice small pieces. I have a hard time when it starts getting into the um, the real intricate details and like the big molds. Yeah, that's where I am struggling. So I'm just going to stick to the little easy ones. <laughs> yeah. All right. And my torch works a little bit better. And I do have a little. Oh, it's already starting to form its skin on the top. So, yep, we're just going to leave it and we'll be back for the demold, guys. All righty, guys, I'm back. It. I came down and checked it at like the five and a half hour, five hour mark, and it was still um, a little bit wet and sticky, so I do have a few fingerprints on the backside, but that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead. So it's been 10, so it's 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it's been like nine hours. So I did have a little spillage, but that's fine. So when you, you get these mold kits, they come with this little um, thing. And what it does is it just helps like cut your silicone. So you can trim it and get a nice um, a nice cut line. All right. So let me, I'm going to take the back side of this and we're just going to pop it out. And let's see how our little mold came out. Oh, looky. So it came out nice and sparkly. So it is still, I don't know why, but it's still a little bit kind of tacky around the edges. So I'm just going to let that set and finish curing up overnight. And I've already got a project started for the next video, so it'll probably be the video after where we will be actually using these molds that we made. All right, so this is the, the antlers. And I had opened the back of that first because that had the most spillage on it. This one was pretty good. There's, I mean, like a little bit there, but nothing, nothing much. And this just popped right on out. Look at that. All right. So I am going to set that on the tape just because I want to make sure that I'm not getting anything on there. All right. Let me just, and then I'll just clean those off good. 
<laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and see if we can get these out. And there we go. Look how shiny that is. And these are good. I will just wipe this down and I'll be able to put them in my next elk or moose or whatever the crap he is. You know what I mean. And there is our second one. So these are the original mole. And this is the one that we just made. So now I can do two at a time and I don't have to worry about losing this little tiny piece right here. So I managed to have two successes today. I am happy. <laughs> I have been struggling to do molds. So, um, but I did, I did want to do it live, you know, on video and show you guys that don't give up. Even if you're struggling, keep, you know, like I went to a smaller, like smaller pieces. So I'll stick with that. I've made my own plugs. Yes, they don't come out 100% perfect, the ones to put your lights in, but they work. So... You know, you just got to keep playing and doing things. So um, I wanted to show you how easy it was to make it. If if anybody doesn't want to make molds and they would like either one of these, just message me and I will make up a few of these and put them on my website. So, I mean... Yes, they're not, you know, I mean, these ones are pretty perfect because I use the round mold for it. And let me see, this is, and this one had a lot leak out, so it would probably be a little bit thicker than that, but this is the original and this is the new one. This is a firmer rubber, so I might actually even make another one and use the 10A instead of the 0A, because this was a 0A. This, I think, is more of a 10A. So I might end up making one out of this. I'll probably do it off camera, but um, yeah, just so we can see the difference in the molds. But this is the original, and this is the one that I just made. And that same sparkle is still in there. So again, you would not want to put your fingers in there. You wouldn't want to, you know, spray it with alcohol, all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm curious to, to make something. So these, I'm going to let sit for 24 hours because it says to let them sit for 24 hours. So my piece is still good. Yes, it might have a little bit of silicone on it. But we just wipe that off, peel it off and it is fine so yeah alrighty guys have a great day and thank you for supporting me we are less than 10 away from 2,000 subscribers guys so if you haven't already subscribed please do so as soon as we get to 2,000 subscribers we will be doing a giveaway so I look forward to that because I love giving things away. And I will see you guys all on the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Let me put this back here so you can see. Let me zoom in. We'll do a close-up first just so you can see all the crystals and the facets in there. And the same with the little antenna um yeah why do I want to call them antennas um not horns antlers that's the word that's the word so yeah I'm anxious to to mold these 
Okay, guys. Bye.